What does Jesus being the Messiah have to do with him having to return? Because they were waiting and they're still waiting. The Jews today, they've been waiting for 2,000 years for the Messiah to come. Okay, so what do the Jews believe about the Messiah? Because this is what I want you to tell me, because now you're going to prove Muhammad can't be a prophet. What do the Jews believe about the Messiah that Jesus will come and confirm to them? Who or what is the Messiah according to these Jews? These Jews believe in the Messiah doesn't come and uh, spread peace around the world. And, and the Messiah also, they believe that if Messiah comes, it's final, right? There's no one after him and he's an eternal king that will rule forever? They believe that in the this Messiah is going to rule over them, but they've been believing this for 2,000 years. Not over years them. Now. Rule over all creatures forever, right? No, 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 no. They don't believe okay, that. Let me they not don't prove you don't know what you're talking about. Hold on. Okay, okay. You said no, no, no. Let me prove now you don't know what you're talking about. Abad.org. This is an ultra-Orthodox Jewish website that translates the Old Testament into English with the commentary of one of their greatest <laughs> medieval rabbis named Rashi. You said no, 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 right? Okay, I'm going to say no, you don't know what you're talking about. Here you go. Daniel 7, 13, 14. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Do me a favor, Hussein. This yes. is Chabad.org. So you don't think these are Christian interpretation? This is Chabad.org, an ultra-Orthodox Jewish website. And they provide a translation of the Tanakh. You, why you skip the verse? Dude? Go back up to 13. They translate it from Hebrew into English. And they give you the commentary, Rashi, the rabbi. So in Daniel 7, 13, it's about one like the man, son of man. Read 13 for us. I saw in the visions of the night. And behold, with the clouds of the heaven, one like a man was coming. And he came up to the Ancient of Days and was brought before him. Now, before you read 14, read the commentary of Rashi. It's right there. Okay. Who is this one man that comes with the clouds in the Aramaic? It's not a man. Who is it? Read the one, commentary. One like a man was coming. That is King Messiah. Who is he? King Messiah. The King Messiah. Who said that? Rashi, right? Not a Christian, a Jew? Right, right. Okay, but when this one comes, who's the King Messiah, read 14. Who does he rule over? He gave him dominion and glory and kingdom and a kingdom and all peoples, nations. Only tongues, Jews? No, all peoples, nations, tongues shall serve him. Serve who? The one like a man who's King Messiah? Yes. That means the Arabs must serve him too? Yeah. And how long will he reign? His dominion is an eternal dominion, which will not be removed. And his kingdom is one which will not be destroyed. Daniel 7, 13, 14 is quoted by Jesus himself in the New Testament and his followers to refer to Jesus as the Messiah, who is an eternal king, whose kingdom will never be destroyed, who rule over all peoples, nations, and all languages must worship him. The Jews agree it's about Messiah. So if Jesus is coming back because the Jews expect Messiah to come and reign, then that means he's coming back to fulfill Daniel 7, where he will rule forever over all peoples forever, and all peoples must worship him forever, including you Muslims. So that no, means no, Muhammad no. was wrong when he said Jesus no. will come and rule for 40 years and die. Sam, there's no Jew in this, in this world that believes that this Messiah is going to come to be worshipped. Okay, wait. Read for him 14 again. This Messiah that Rashi said is yeah. the man who comes on clouds. They will do what for him? Serve him? Okay, so, and he, he gave him okay. dominion and glory and a kingdom and all people's nations tongues shall serve him and his dominion. That's is, ibadah. This and, is Tawheed and ibadah. All nations must ibadah him. What are you talking so, about? Right in front of your eyes. This is the Jewish Bible. And it's Rashi who says this one who will be served forever is King Messiah, Melech Mashiach. What are you talking about? We just said it. You're still denying it? So what do you mean, no, Joe? I just gave you a anti-Christian medieval rabbi who hated Christianity and hated Jesus, but he admits Daniel 7 in his Bible is about Messiah, the king, and he doesn't believe Jesus is the king. Now you're in a dilemma because you disagree with the rabbi. You say Jesus is the Messiah, but then you disagree with the rabbi that the Messiah is a king who reigns forever, whom all must give ibadah to. You're in trouble, buddy. No, no, that contradicts it because in the day, in the day, how Jesus come, Jesus come two thousand years ago. Yeah, so how could they believe that this was a him? You're not listening. They're saying Messiah is coming to reign. You're telling me that's why Jesus is coming back. So is Jesus coming back to prove to the Jews he's that Messiah whom they said will come and reign? Yes or no? Because this is what you just said ten minutes ago. No, it will be. It will be Jesus. So I mean, Jesus yeah. is coming back to convince the Jews he's that Messiah who comes to reign, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but wait, we just read that the Jews believe, Daniel 7 says, Messiah will come to reign forever, and all nations must give him ibadah. So you're admitting 
Jesus is coming to fulfill this Jewish expectation. That's what they believe. Okay, That's so will Jesus believe. fulfill it or no? According to Islam, he 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 will uh, die after after forty years. Okay, so that means the Jews and the Christians say Islam is wrong. Muhammad doesn't know what he's talking about because Jesus will never die; he will rule forever. He will not. He will not. Some. He's not going to live forever. He's not going to live forever. According to Muhammad, whom we don't care because he's a fake prophet. So if we're going to go with the Jews and the Old Testament and Christians New Testament, Jesus is the Messiah and he rules forever and will never die and he'll be worshipped by everyone. So now. Don't appeal to the Jews to explain why Jesus is coming back. Because now when you appeal to the Jews, it proves Islam is false. 